Welcome to another edition of NASDAQ Spotlight live here from Microsoft Ignite Conference in Orlando, Florida. I'm your host, Anna Gonzalez, and joining me now is Didi Walsh, VP at Mobilize.net. Didi, thank you so much for joining us. No problem. Good morning. Good morning. So tell us a little bit about your company and uh, what you all do. Okay. Mobilize.net, what we do is we take old code, primarily like Microsoft code, but old code like Visual Basic and Power Builder, and we have a technology that converts it to new code that it runs on a mobile phone or a device. That's so, super helpful. Helpful, yeah. and I had never thought about that would be a problem. It's a it? huge <laughs> problem. Everybody has old Visual Basic and Power Builder and Silverlight and all kinds of old code that can't run on a device and it's stuck on a, a desktop. So we get them off. Good. So tell me about a project you're working on right now that really excites you. Well, what's exciting to me, so I do a lot of our partnerships, and so right now we're working with another software company, another uh, a partner of ours called Syncfusion, and yes. Syncfusion has these controls that help make your your applications look better and they have more functionality, and so they're actually helping to move the code to the web as well. So they'll take the old desktop controls and move them to the web. So we're they're a partner of ours and we're both helping to take those old applications and move them to the web and to the cloud. Oh, so fantastic. they'll run on Azure. Yeah. So uh, what brings you to the conference? Well, we are exhibiting at the conference. This is our posse, you know, here at, at Ignite. And we are here to show all these customers how they don't have to be stuck on old products. And we get them off the desktop and into web and cloud and into Azure. And so that's how you partner with Microsoft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, um, we do a lot with Microsoft because um, we're actually ex-Microsoft, most of us. I worked at Microsoft for 20 years. And so we're actually the team that got a lot of these customers into it. We're the old Visual Basic, Visual Studio team, so oh, wow. we kind of know that at a right. low level, and so we uh, help them to take that old code and, and get it. And so, so we actually work with Microsoft Field and everyone, because everyone has this old code. So you mentioned you're at Microsoft for 20 years, now you're here at yeah. uh, Mobilize, so .NET. So what have you seen change over the years? <laughs> so I, uh, I started in technology in 1985. Um, um, and uh, I worked for a small shareware company, and so I, I started, you know, back when we used to program in BASIC. I'm, I started out doing a little bit of programming, and, and we did a little shareware app, and so I've watched it go from, you know, little shows where we had card tables, and oh, right. we were pretty um, pretty primitive to looking around, you know, the, this, is, this is a much more sophisticated uh, industry than when I first started. It was really fun back then. And it was small, and everybody kind of knew each other. So it's it's fun to watch the evolution and get grow up. Now there's what about 22,000? Yeah, people? yeah. It's like 30,000. Yeah. Oh wow! So Orlando just grew to uh, another yeah, yeah. market size. Yeah, yeah, I know exactly. <laughs> um, so when you think about uh, what's headed next, uh, what excites you about the future? Well, honestly, what excites me about the future, I mean, this is all cool and fun, but like I love watching Tesla, um, the cars, and what they're doing in space, and so I kind of get excited like about some of the more um, futuristic. Every time I get in a Tesla, and you go, remember how Porsche used to be what zero to sixty in in whatever number of right, seconds? Right. Like the Tes if you've ever been in a Tesla and and you accelerate, you're, you you go. Whoa! You know, it's so fun to, those are the, the that, that kind of technology is really fun to see. I've been so. in a Tesla where it's in autonomous driving mode. Oh, yeah. But I haven't been yeah. to go zero to 60 quite, what is that, insane mode? I haven't yeah, done that where, quite yet. Where they, Ludicrous like, speed. Like, I've been the passenger and they accelerate and you go like this. <laughs> like, it's awesome. It's that really fun. Like fun. Yeah. All right, you ready for a lightning round? Yeah, yeah, let's okay. do it. So, what app can you not live without? Oh, what app can I not live without? Unfortunately, I, I wish I could say that it wasn't Outlook, but unfortunately yeah. it's Outlook. But um, uh, more recently, are, are, are you familiar with Twitch? Uh, yes. 
So, so t I work a lot with developers and Twitch, which started out as kind of like the gaming thing, right. watching everybody do gaming. Well, now Twitch is kind of the thing where everybody's doing a lot of live coding. Um, wow. And again, I'm I'm in the in the geekiest part of the industry I that mean, you talk could about ever geeking out. Yeah, watching yeah. Other people do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so that's what we're all doing a lot of is live coding on Twitch. Interesting. So that's on my phone and getting to watch all of that is really fun. And now are you learning as you're Yeah, watching? I'm learning the... and, and in my case, like, we have our devs uh, literally doing it. And we've thrown parties on it and wow. given away prizes. So yeah. Twitch is, you know, watch out. Twitch is the fun thing. I, I have to ask this really quickly. So do you have commentators as well? Or are they yeah, so yeah. That they're actually yeah, but I mean, it's, it's super unsophisticated at this yeah. point. I'm sure, it, you know, it'll get Maybe more. Maybe it'll be to the stadium you know, level, like yeah. eSports. Yeah. Yeah, but right now, you know, you just have a nerd with a headset. You know, we're all just on there, you know, <laughs> typing Doing away. And, yeah. and, and, and you can see the chat. So so literally, like, there will be an attendee in it, and you can talk to, you know, they'll ask a question, and you can answer it. And That's fantastic. It's really cool. Yeah, yeah, it's really fun. That's great. I hadn't heard that before. Uh, so what's the coolest tech you have in your office? Oh, dang. Yeah. In, well, so because of the fact that we are trying to move customer, you know, we have to stay on top of everything. Um, so we, the cool thing is we get to play with everything. And so we're always playing with every kind of device and, and um, anything that's out there. But right now, we've been, because of, um, of what we're doing with Twitch, we have a lot of cameras and stuff that we're playing around with right yeah. now and, and it's a lot a of streaming fun, as you can yeah. Tell, yeah. <laughs> yeah so we've got all the streaming technology and so we're playing around with cameras and streaming and microphones and all of that so before you know you used to have to have a very sophisticated setup and it's amazing what you can do you know I was over at Target yesterday and just all the stuff that you can buy to set up your own little studio is pretty fun yeah so that's what we're playing around with right that's now. what I always say you just experiment yeah right? that's, yeah. The, that's the whole fun of it whether yeah. it's uh, social media or just on your phone with content creation or the equipment yeah. now it's it's all so accessible yeah. uh, so what do you like to do when you're not working ski oh, I mean fun. you can't do it year-round well yeah. you could if you go to other, yeah, yeah. yeah but um, skiing is uh, so I, I watch uh, snow every day the snow report for anywhere in the world so yeah that's my just thing. imagine doing that that's, yeah. that's great um, so last question as we wrap up um, for the Facebook live viewers who are sitting watching and thinking I want to be where Didi is one day what advice do you have for that next generation well, so I've been in this industry, like I said, since 1985, when I was in uh, just graduated from college. Actually, since 1981, when I think about it, even before I got a full-time job. Um, and the one thing that I've learned is when you're, um, I remember when I first started out and everybody was like, don't ever do, and they tell you like this cardinal rule, or always do, and again, a cardinal rule. And I'd look and I'd be like, holy cow, I broke that rule. Like, and it worked really well for me. And so what I found is like people are always telling you what you have to do or what never to do. And I just find that like there's no cardinal rules. Like do what works for you and be experimental and don't let anyone limit you. Like you can do, you know, people will say to you, you have to have this to get into technology. I'm an English major. Um, I would and, not have guessed that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I majored in English at, at a non-Ivy League school at Brigham Young University. Um, and I have done fine, and I've had a great career, and I've done everything from, like, programming to business development to marketing to program management, and it's been awesome. So I say just be open to learning and and don't let anybody kind of give you any rules that they think can't be broken. Those are great words to wrap up with. Thank you so much for joining us. All right. Thank you for having me. It was great to, to join you. And thank you all for watching. Stay tuned for more conversations here at Microsoft Ignite.